Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Meredith from West Red Lake Gold. How are you today? Good, thank you, Tracy. And of course, you were the first resource company to ring the bell at the CSC. We were there yesterday, and I just want to say congratulations for that. Well, thanks very much. It was a good day. Did they select you because they think you have the most uptick for them? Uh, well, I know we were one of the earliest companies on the exchange, and uh, they've been very supportive of us. So. Uh, I think uh, hopefully everyone looks at us as having a great potential. For all of you out there who are new to West Red Lake, we know you have a competitive project, Tom. Can you tell this audience some of the advantages? Sure. We're in Red Lake, Ontario, which is a very well-known gold district. That's where Gold Corp was created and created a huge amount of value for shareholders of that company. Uh, it produces very high-quality, high-grade gold deposits. And our project is about 15 kilometers away from where Gold Corp's main mines are, which is now owned uh, by Newmont. And we're partners with Newmont Gold Corp in the project. And uh, one of the reasons they like our property is because they see potential for a high value deposit that could be found in our property. So as we build our 1 million ounce resource to a bigger resource, we're also looking for something that could be even more spectacular. And of course, we're trying to bring the cannabis investors that are looking to diversify their portfolio into gold. So Tom, let's talk about what you know well, drilling results. And we understand that you've just announced uh, what you plan on doing for 2019 and 2020. Can you talk to us about that? Sure. Uh, we have one gold deposit on the property now that's just over a million ounces of resource. And we've started drilling a second gold deposit, which is a few hundred meters away. We put some initial results out on that deposit earlier this year. We got good results. So now we're working to build a gold deposit, and that's what we're drilling. The drill started earlier this month, and we, we've drilled a few holes so far, and we're going to continue. And of course, the goal in building the resource is to increase the valuation to positively impact our shares. Is that correct? Well, that's correct. Uh, gold has a value in the ground. It's worth $1,500 an ounce as a, as a gold coin, for example. But in the ground, it typically the gold price, gold values are can be around fifty dollars an ounce, uh, up to as high as one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars an ounce. So the more ounces that we create in the ground by drilling, the more valuable the company and shares become. And of course, investor intel audience members know that we often talk to Tom when we want to know what's happening in the gold market. So Tom, I just have to ask you. I know you can't forecast the future, but when are we going to see the uh, the gold prices impact the juniors? Well, we, we've seen gold go up in the summer, and we saw the, the large stocks like Barrick have successive new highs, and Bar the price of Barrick doubled. Newmont and Agnico Eagle had successive new highs during the summer into early fall. Typically, what will happen is, now we have a, a consolidation in the marketplace. It's sideways consolidation will take a few weeks. Then we would look for a new leg up in gold, maybe in the first quarter of this coming year, and that new up leg in gold to higher prices, that's likely to bring more capital into the marketplace and start to affect the juniors in a positive way. And of course, you're well funded for your 2020 drilling projects. Is that correct? We're funded for 2019, and we plan to do more funding during 2020 to do continued drilling in, in the next year. And so what should shareholders anticipate moving forward, the drilling? Drill results uh, likely just after Christmas time in the early new year, and then we would go on from there. And should we see gold prices maintain where they're at right now and, and, and go higher, or can you comment on that? Well, I anticipate over the coming couple of years, gold prices will be higher than they are today. Uh, so that's, I think most people are forecasting that simply because interest rates are going lower, and as interest rates go lower, gold prices go higher. So Tom, thank you so much for joining us. As always, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much.